Hey everyone, welcome to the Eldest Ring PC Settings Optimization Ultimate Guide where I'm going to be showing you how to optimize not only your PC but also Elden Ring so you can have the max frames per second and enjoy this beautiful game. If you like how that sounds, please like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications for more Elden Ring videos. The information that I'm going to be providing to you guys, you will not find anywhere else. I'm not just going to provide you the best settings for the game itself, but I'm also gonna help you guys to optimize your PC, and this is gonna help for anyone that has a lower end PC and also for those that have a beast of a computer and I would greatly appreciate it guys if you just hit that like button because it helps with the algorithm so let's begin and let's play Dark Souls to the best frames per second that you can have for your game I'm gonna be focusing on making sure that your PC is up to date DPI settings GPU settings power plan and for last I'm gonna be providing you the best the best Elden Ring settings and overall is going to be the best PC settings that you're going to have for Elden Ring. Okay, so let's get started with the optimization of your PC. First, we're going to get started with Windows update and also the GPU drivers. I can't emphasize that so much of how important it is to you guys to make sure that everything is up to date because once everything is up to date, you can run your computer a lot better so for windows 10 or 11 just make sure it's up to date if you don't know just go on the bottom left corner of your pc and start typing pc update and it's going to take you to the section where you need to update it next one is going to be the nvidia geforce experience same thing lower left corner type in geforce is going to take you once it takes you there click on it and it's going to let you know automatically if you need updates or not it's very important that you update the drivers because NVIDIA works very close with all the developers, especially Elden Ring. Elden Ring, it's just, it's heavy on graphics, on lighting, and shadows, and different things like that. And that is, later on in the video, I'm gonna be letting you guys know all my settings so you can run the game beautiful and enjoy it. So, we got rid of that. Now, let's move on to optimizing the game itself with the PC with DPI settings. So what you need to do is the following. On the left corner, you're gonna type in the following. It's called graphics settings. Once you're there, it's gonna open up the graphics settings section. So as you see here, I already have Elden Ring and I have Lost Art. So I'm gonna remove Elden Ring so you guys can see how I do it. So first of all, and before we get continue on that, you need to locate where exactly the files are for this to work. So what you can do is open up your Steam account, your Steam app. Once you open it, you're gonna have Elden Ring here on the, on the left side. You're gonna click on Elden Ring and then you're gonna go to manage and you're gonna go browse local files and it's gonna open where exactly they are. It's important you keep those open, just put it on the side. Next, after that, you're going to go where I said, you're gonna to go to graphics, settings. You're gonna open it up. Here, you're gonna click on browse. But before you click on browse, you gotta make sure you have here where it says hardware acceleration, GPU scheduling. You need to make sure you have that on. on. Once you have that on, on, go to browse. And then I'm, I automatically have it open to where it should be. So as you see here, then you're gonna click on it. You're gonna go add and it would automatically add it there where it needs to be. Now, from here, there's a few more steps that we gotta do to make sure we optimize the game with the graphics. You're gonna go to options. After you go to options, you're gonna choose high performance. I have a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, so I'm clicking high performance. So I'm gonna save that. Now, after you make all these updates that I'm showing you, you're gonna need to restart your computer so all of them can take effect. Okay, now that we took care of that, now we're gonna uh, make sure that we have our game for DPI. So we're gonna open our game and we're gonna look for it. So it's right here, as you see, I'm showing you. 
you're going to click on the following it's called properties and then properties is going to open up this window now in this window you have compatibility co no compatibility sorry and then you're going to go and click on change high dpi settings it's very important that you guys do this so what is i'm trying to show you here is that you're going to do the following you're going to let the it says here override high dpi scaling behavior scaling performance by application so you're letting the computer itself know that your game and the computer are going to be communicated one-to-one -one so you can have the best dpi settings in the game itself nowhere else you're going to be hearing about that guys so a like is much appreciated like i said it helps me with the algorithm and i greatly greatly appreciate that so let's click ok all right now that we took care of that we have the gpu already done we have the game optimized with the computer itself we did the dpi we located the local files now we're going to do a couple more things to make sure that our computer any extra things that not done don't need to be on are off so one of them is very important we're going to go to make sure that you turn off the xbox game bar it's very important that you turn this off why because any recordings that is trying to do or audio recording or anything like that is going to eat up your cpu and having your cpu lag and your gpu lag is no bueno so it's not going to help you so we're going to make sure that everything is set up properly so you're going to go and click on the little settings here on the top right after this here you're going to go to capturing and the capturing you're going to make sure that it says here record in the background while i'm playing the game unclick that make sure that is turned off and once you see that it's turned off you can click that you just click the x and get out of it so automatically you were turning off the game bar so it can stop recording because we don't want any additional recording done while we are you know if you have um obs or using a different type of uh, software then you just want that software to be recording your gameplay now next up we're going to choose the power plant type of computer that you have now you're going to go to edit power plan as you see bottom left just type power and then you're going to click on the following change advanced settings once you're here um actually i don't want to take you through here let's go through the next one let's go back one here and we're going to choose right here this is what i want you to be in in here you're going to have different type of settings please choose the highest you can in my case i have an amd risen high performance so i'm going to choose that one because i want my game to run to the highest performance because of the following you may say no but if i choose that my game is not going to run really good mm -mm. i already showed you how to optimize your pc with the game so now your pc is up being optimized your game is optimized for the pc and we're just doing the last little things to make sure that our last to make sure that our elder ring game runs just beautiful and we can watch all the different type of graphics and enjoy everything that the game has so click on the highest performance now if you don't have that option choose the highest that you have once you're done with that just click x and get out of it and probably the last few things is if you have anything in your trash bin or if you have any temporary files that you don't need look for them on the bottom left i believe you if you just type in uh, temp files you know and it automatically shows up and you're able to delete anything it's going to show you automatically here what you have in the different type of uh, spaces that are in your hard drive just click on the bottom left and just type um, temp and it automatically is going to take you there and this see right now it's optimizing what i have in my storage as you see here i have a c drive i have a 931 uh, megabyte a gigabyte uh, file and it's optimizing right now see this is says this is how your storage is used and how you can free up space and right now it's telling me that i can free up a lot of space see that it's telling me that I can free up a lot of pace. So if you want to, just go through it and, and remove as much as you want. Okay, so now our PC is 100% optimized. Let's move on onto the game for the best settings for the game itself. And we're going to change a few settings to make sure what we already optimized on the game itself, we already are going to be able to do it here through the game itself. 
So as you see here, you have different type of options, game options. Um, you also have um, camera options, audio options, uh, global options, controller options, uh, and also keyboard options. And we have here graphics options. So this is where we're gonna be focusing. So click on here and uh, first thing you're gonna do is screen, um, first thing you're gonna do here is screen mode is gonna be full screen. Resolution, well, this all depends on the type of monitor that you have, but I encourage you to go 2560 by 1480 by 1440 is going to be probably the best thing you want to do there and then you have two different options here you have quality settings and you have advanced settings so leave that on custom and we're going to go to advanced settings and this is um where we need to work with so i already have the settings so if you want a screenshot right away just do that um these are the settings that I have here for my PC. And as you see, I have some on high and some on medium, and I'm gonna let you know why. Okay, first thing overall, texture quality. I will leave that on high. The reason why is because that pretty much um, helps the game itself on keeping the quality of the game, of the, of the of visual, everything that you see visually, that's what it's for. Now, anti next one is the anti-aliasing, quality leave that on high you can leave that on medium if you want um but i know there is a problem right now if you leave it on low that is going to um, disrupt the graphics itself but I, for now i will leave it on high now the ssao i'm gonna leave that um at medium the reason why is because if you put that on medium it just depends on what computer you're using but a minimum, at least minimum 3%, you're going to get of DPS. If you put this on 3%, the SSAO is going to give you a 3% performance improvement on your frames per second that you're going to be able to see for your game itself. Depth of field, I will leave that at um, what it is at high. Motion blur, I will bring it down to medium. So as you know, motion blur is everything that is happening around you in the game. Shadow quality. Now here, you can leave that on high if your computer is able to take it. But if you don't have such a beastly computer, leave it on medium. I myself have a um, 3080 graphic card and a good um, um, CPU, but I like to leave this on medium because I have my texture quality on high. Lighting quality is going to be on medium. Effects quality is going to be on medium. And voluntary quality is going to be on high. Reflecting quality is going to be high. Water surface quality is going to be... Uh, you may want to leave that on high because it's, uh, you want to enjoy you know, the water itself in Elder Ring. It looks pretty nice. Shader quality, um, you're going to leave this on medium. The reason why is because... This does take a lot from your computer. So leave this on medium and it's probably gonna help you about five to 10% of improvement on your um, performance of your computer. And next one is the global illumination quality, medium, and the last one, grass quality. I would just leave that at medium. So overall guys, those are the best settings for Elden Ring, the game itself, and the best settings for your PC optimization so you're able to run elden ring the best way ever the best way you can with your own pc so let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about them and also if you tried them let me know how beautiful the game runs and i know it's going to i can guarantee you guys 100 so that's it guys thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and turn on all notifications for more Elden Rings, we're going to be bringing you guys a lot of content. So make sure you keep checking your inbox for more Elden Ring videos.